Hey guys, welcome into the Pugger Reborn channel. We are checking out the legendary Demon Alps today for the Legends mod, Battle Brothers Legends mod, of course. Um, there is some very nasty things in this game in terms of the legendary beast, as you can see kind of the category running down the list here. But this thing in particular could come off as the hardest legendary creature. But I want to teach you how to defeat it, but also tell you exactly what it does. For starters, if you didn't like the second edition Alps, you're going to hate this thing. Terribly. It's not just because it looks like a demon, because it truly is a demon. First off, it has a, an AoE effect of Cloud of Smoke, like the second edition Alp. And it puts demons inside of it, just like the, the second edition Alp. However, it's not a Cloud of Smoke. It's a Cloud of Sulfur. If you, <laughs> and not one of them, but two Clouds of Sulfur on the field. We will have the gameplay in just a second, but I want you to understand that it does two clouds of sulfur. It summons four demons within the cloud. One of these things can do that each turn. They can also put more sulfur on the field every turn. Yeah, if you're in that cloud, you're in trouble. And if you're facing four to six of these things, the whole field is covered. All right, so you need to be prepared for that. Now let's say, ah, I got to figure it out. I'm going to get to the demon elf quicker than probably you could. Well, I'm proud of you. Very good job. Uh, there are perks for this, especially in the Legends mod. But in terms of this beast, if you get close enough to it, it will scream. It has the Geist Scream ability. So if you're right on it and you're hitting it, you better have the resolve to get up on it. Because if you don't, it'll try to run. You will try to run. And when your guys run and die, well, the damage you did to this thing doesn't really matter. Because it'll hover over the body and use the, the ability Devour which the Nevers, or the Nebuchadnezzars, or whatever you want to call them, they're the Ni, Ni whatever they're called, we call them Nevers. Anyway, so, which is uh, the skin ghouls, the ghouls, essentially. These things are a pain, but there is an easy way to actually beat them. Believe it or not, one of their own weaknesses is their own sulfur. Yeah, if they're in their sulfur cloud, they will hurt themselves, and they will run from you at any risk to get away and even though it puts themselves in harm. Now before we go any farther, I want you to understand I cannot change any of their stats. What you see is what you get. 65, 65, whatever the whatever all this stuff. And luckily when we do this we have relatively high resolve. 55 is high resolve. 48 is high resolve. There this is the only thing that does change between the brothers. In terms of the perks, I can't click change any of the perks. You can see it, you, you can see. You can also hear me clicking. I'm gonna do a quick outfit on these brothers and then we'll get right into the fight. All right, so everybody's outfitted as you can see on the bottom and I wanna explain the strategy that I'm going for right now. Number one, we do not have insanely high uh, melee, nor even that great. Some of you probably have been playing this long enough to know that uh, 80 or higher is probably the most acceptable. If you haven't gotten to that point, I hope you still are enjoying the 65 melee. Just saying. Okay, so these brothers, we need the best chance of hitting this thing when we get in range. Also hitting the guy, or not the guys, but the ghosts that are on the battlefield. You want to utilize this. Armor does not matter. If you want to go in completely naked with your brothers, more power to you. You're going to need as much fatigue as possible. Why? Because a lot of it matters with the perks. For instance, if you are just playing uh, traditionally with the normal perks, footwork is a great zone of control escapee. Uh, perk that you can pick. For instance, if you're caught around four of these uh, ethereal turds, you can use this ability to effectively jump between the zones and totally avoid uh, any issues that arise throughout the battlefield. Also, <clears throat> when you are using a certain weapon, masteries help a little bit, right? Not, not crazy, but there is a uh, one perk that you can get from the Legends mod that I must stress it's freedom of movement. Literally, when you activate it, you can run into any zone you want to and not have to get hit. Think about it. To be able to run through the sulfur, get on top of these beasts, and if they put, the, if they are, I don't, they're not dumb creatures, obviously, but if they do put their sulfur field on top of themselves, it may hurt you, but it's sure gonna hurt them too. Bleeding weapons are great against this thing. We aren't using bleeding weapons. But if we wanted to, we could, it's just we want the best chance to hit this thing. They suck against bleeding. I just want to get that out there, it's huge. 
you want to utilize whips. If it was up to me, I would have every single one of these brothers with whips and we would demolish this run. It wouldn't even be uh, a question because within three tiles away, they don't exactly have to run from you. They don't feel like they have to run away from you. They might scream, but it, it dies off. Their morale check kind of dies off from a distance. So let's jump in. Without further ado, he spawned free. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty unique actually. I feel like I don't see this often enough. Or often enough, I don't feel like I see this. All right, we cannot jump that way. So we're gonna have to go the long way around. As for these guys, they're gonna take damage either way. But to have those, to have the ability to jump through the field would be nice. What are you doing? Some reason the game logic tells you, let's go right through the sulfur. Not exactly the best thing in the world. Okay, we're just gonna miss a few of those, no big deal. Very good. Now, one other thing I've noticed when I do these strategies too is to avoid, you can simply avoid a lot of this stuff by spreading guys out. Spreading them out probably will be the best case for you. Now, I want you to understand too, now that our archer's up high and shooting down at this this demon, you can't, they, they have really good range defense. So don't expect just constant range to be your ally. Will it help? Oh, most definitely. There we go. At least we freed up the one brother. Now we're up on it. We'll get up high and still miss. So we had a 58% chance at a higher elevation. I think that's like 48 is what we would have normally had. Again, spreading your brothers out. Probably the way to do it. I don't find that the pole arms are the best case in this type of playthrough. And the reason being is because you you simply do not have the luxury. Oh, let's keep. You don't have uh, the luxury of hitting multiple times. As you can see, if you don't kill the demons, they stay on the field. Yeah, you are dead, and you sound for for a lady. That was quite the grunt. All right. Okay, so as you can see, one shot with the boar spear put out about an eighth, less than an eighth, oh, more than an eighth, probably uh, one seventh, one sixth, a sixth of the health, I don't know, something along those lines. But you do see that there is some good damage still being put out, providing you can actually hit the turn. Now, we move in, we should, this should be a fairly easy kill here. He's just going to scream. And, I, and there it goes. See, now he, he has put himself in mortal danger. Actually, let's get one more farther. Nope. We are going to hit him. You, ma'am, need to move forward. No. And definitely death is coming here. And, okay. For some reason, the game, like, glitches out when we play this scenario but I've already killed this thing and all we did was spread our brothers out but look how much how much area of effect it was able to put the sulfur down on the field now you need to understand you're not gonna go on a quest to take on just one of these things usually it's anywhere it could be I don't know it could be two to let's say ten of these things yeah this is nuts the whole battlefield I mean we had one more of these things in here we had to have to split up our groups and go opposite directions while having four of these things going at you not exactly uh, the most fun fight you could ever have however your advantage is whips your advantage is freedom of movement your advantage is uh, footwork your other advantages um, if you get the cleaver mastery with the whips you you have uh, the best chance with spears they're not hard to actually hit compared to other legendary beasts it's a matter of avoiding this constant hell landscape that's going to totally consume most of the battlefield now i want to wish you guys luck in this fight because this is easy this right here is easy i can do the scenario a million times over and probably win almost every single one of them it's just it's not showcasing how really dangerous these things are and i'm sure you already know if you're used to the uh, second version of the alps so 
that's my advice to you. That's the best way I've found to kill these things, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little bit of a guide, huh? Perfect. All right, well, break your keyboard for me. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. More content like this coming. If you don't want to give me that stuff, that's perfectly fine. Uh, let me know what I can do better. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.